All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. We're also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And we're the brothers from GMS Chicago. All right, I'm uh, Natazakia. This is Brother Lahab. All right, and um, we're going to do a, a quick lesson that's based on this post that the... Um, that you see right here from the uh, Wall Street Journal, all right? And it says here, the rural areas pushing for divorce from democratic cities, okay? And you have the uh, state of Illinois, you have the state of California, and you have the uh, state of Idaho, okay? Where the majority of the state actually wants to break off from the major cities, all right? And uh, we've been saying this for a long time, all right? Myself, uh, the Elder Crab. You know, Elder Malcolm, uh, Elder Uriah, different brothers, you know, different apostles. We've been saying for a long time that within these uh, blue states, right, the uh, majority of it is actually really a red state. Yeah. It's just the uh, major cities turn these um, states, okay, into a democratic, you know, a democratic state, all right? Another thing, too, Salaki, uh, one thing... That I know they even even with the city called Evanston out here, that's happened because another thing that happens with these these blue uh, cities is that the taxes go up. Yep, the taxes shoot the fuck up. The, everything, man. Crime. Yep. Taxes. Uh, mm -hmm. Freakism. Yep. All right, and see a lot of people they're getting tired of all these things. All right, and you know we're gonna speak on Chicago, you, you know, or Illinois. You know, since we're, you know, from uh, the city of Chicago and basically you, the only blue part of the, the state of Illinois is the Chicagoland area. Of course, the city of Chicago, what they call the collar suburbs, you know, the, the, the suburbs that are real close to uh, the city. Um, and basically the, uh, uh, the, the uh, state capital, which is Springfield, and then uh, 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 what is that? Uh, Champaign, which is basically a college town. Right. But the rest of the entire state is all red. And, and the second you get about, like, give or take about 45 to an hour outside of uh, downtown Chicago, you start seeing the vibration change. Like, even where I'm at, you can walk down my area and just see a bunch of Trump flags. You know, uh, veterans, you know, uh, you know, those veteran flags. You know, pro, uh, what is it, um, Second Amendment flags. All that stuff. And, uh, and I believe that plays into the, uh, the Roman partrician. You know, uh, the, uh, the, the, you know, you had the plebeians and the partricians. I believe the partricians were more so for the common folk, you know, because uh, when you think about the blue states or the blue um, mindset, who is it mainly who's mainly behind it? It's someone who's in college. It's not really dealing with a common lifestyle of having children and having a family. Mm -hmm. And then it's the it's the filthy rich. that can afford to do these things. So they're not really dealing with life, you know. And, and that's the issue that, that, that is being faced in most states, man, where people are feeling that average hardworking citizen is feeling like their back is against the wall 24-7. Like the brother said, crime shoots up, you know, prices shoot up, all right? You know, everything that weirdos shoot up, it, it just goes to shit. And it's not a decent form of living or that will even build any nation. Um, but uh, we're going to get these scriptures now. Uh we can get a, a kingdom divided. I'll get that one. What do you have? I got that uh, scripture call for in second edge. Yeah, get that and I'll get the kingdom divided. Can we get it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get it now. Yeah, this is second edge chapter 13, verse 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another and one city against another. Yeah, one city against another. You see? All right? Because it's not just, you know, these, uh, you know, great superpowers fighting each other. You know... These different states fighting each other, even these cities, okay, are gonna, you know, clash. And I'm telling you, if people are, are tired uh, of uh, uh, being squeezed, that's what it is, yep. okay? All right, but you got it. It says, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another, mm. you know, which we see all that unfolding as, as one into World War Three, you know. Spirit has us not to call it because it could die down. The Lord could do anything. Maybe the Lord don't want to have it at this time. He might just will. But we know what uh, on the Democratic end, they, they are trying to make Trump inherit a World War Three. Yep. You know, 
all right and which is going to be geared for that anyway but most of these nations i'm going to be honest most of these nations they want war but they don't want a nuclear war because nuclear war would be bad for everyone including the expenses of america but guess what they all have this uh childish kind of mindset to where uh uh, uh if I can't have it, nobody will. That's how all these nations are. That's the reason why was it is it the King Alpha plan? What's it called? With uh, I think it's the King Alpha plan, which basically all these nations have this suicide. It's another. It's a couple names for it. They got this suicide mission. If their nation goes down, they go shoot nation. They go shoot missiles on your shit mm. too. All right. Great Britain has them against. Like, what is it? I want to say because they just did something to uh, North Korea right now. You know. You know, they shot at, at North Korea. You know, you had Great Britain that shot at North Korea because I guess they, they, they felt that they were a threat. I got to look more into that article, but it, it is going down right now. You oh, know, yeah. The yeah. ambassador of uh, of Zelensky's army, you know, a military man, he said it. He said he said it last night. You know, it, it's not still it's still not there. But he said we're in World War Three. That's what he said. Yeah. And, and meanwhile, look at how life is going on in these states, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Like exactly. I was gonna say uh, to, to add, um, to add on to you is uh, a lot of, you know, apostles, you know, brothers have been, you know, saying we're at the point of no return. Okay, and that's because ultimately the Lord is setting these things up, because we're at the uh, time period of Esau's uh, uh, downfall. You see? Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna get this. This is uh, Mark chapter three, verse twenty-four. And if a kingdom be divided against itself. That kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. You see? All right? Hey, this kingdom is completely divided. Hey, the Lord, what did he say? That's the spirit. Hey, the water y'all bought me. I'll shout. We just found some money. <laughs> All right? But, uh, um, um, uh, uh, uh. Uh, what, what did the Lord say? I think it's in Luke where he said, um, uh, I, I came to bring division. Okay. You know, the Lord is the one who's setting all this, all this up right before everybody's eyes. You see? All right. And, you know, hey, this is just, you know, one more. Um, I get real quick. There shall be sedition among men. Hey, this is one step closer to that sedition. So as it's going to say, they're not going to what, respect their kings nor princes. And your kings and princes are your modern day, you know, uh, uh, presidents, prime ministers, you know, mayors, aldermen, etc. Okay? You see? But uh, you got that, Doc? Okay. Yeah, this is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 16. It says, and there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Yep. Uh, actually, uh, start, start up above it, Doc. If you can. For the sword. Oh, 14? 14, 14. Uh, yes. Uh, you can start at 14. Yeah, we can just start there. It is 2nd Ezra chapter 14, 15, verse 14, Salakia. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall, un shall, shall stand against, shall stand up and fight against another, mm -hmm. and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Yep. Is there more today? Yep. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Exactly. This is what's coming. Yeah. All right. Nothing but you know fighting, division. Okay. There's no unity in this place, and that's because the Lord ultimately has set these things up. Is there a little more to that? I think we can read it. Verse 17: A man shall desire to go into a city. It should not be able. Exactly, because eventually they're going to implement martial law, and you see the elites—they want the um, the uh, the people to be in this uh, uh, spirit of you know division, this spirit of uh, uh, sedition. So it gives them the justification to do the things they actually want to do. All right, and keep going on. Finish it off. It says, "For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled." The houses shall be spoiled and men shall be afraid. Yep, exactly. And all this is coming to this world because of the pride. All right, is there any more? I think there's one more verse. For because of. Where are we at? Uh, yeah, this is verse 19. Verse yeah, did, 19. Yep. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Yep. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. 
They and spoiled. He got to keep on. And spoiled their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yeah, they're going to be nope. blaming each other, man. Mm -hmm. This is all because of your ass. It's all because of you. Which, you know, that's the reason why we know that they're going to try to hem us up. But at the same time, yeah, you see where it's going. But the prices are like this because of you and your shit. You know, it's because of you and your hate. They already doing that now. And they're already kind of begging on each other now, they are. man. <laughs> shit. Exactly. You know, so hey, this stuff is, uh, uh, it, it's happening. You know, it, it, it's happening. You know, it, it, it's, it's only a matter of time before this, this entire system collapse. You know, it's just only a matter of time. All right, but uh, you know, this was just a quick lesson, just to show you, all right, how, you know, there, there, there's division in this place, and it's gonna keep you know uh, um, growing. You know, simple as that. You see, but uh, you got anything else to say? No, no. All right, with that, you know, hopefully it was an edifying lesson. And with that, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ba. Shalom. Shalom.